Northwest Ohio and worldwide on the iHeartRadio app. Absolute pleasure uh, to be with you here this morning. That's Ben and Ryan. I'm Anthony. Join us on the Meyer Supercenter guest line. Uh, joining us on Fridays to break down all of the NFL action. Our good buddy, Matt Kowalas. Find him on Twitter at MoneyLineMatt8. Matt, my man, Super Bowl weekend is upon us. How are you? How's life? How are things, partner? Hey, what's going on, Anthony? Happy Friday, everyone. Glad to be here, as always. Unfortunately, it is our last time breaking down some football on X's and Bros Radio. And it's been an awesome year. Just want to say I appreciate everyone tuning in. I appreciate you, Anthony, having me on every single week, trusting me with the bet of the people. So let's do it one more time. I'm ready to rock with you as always. Let's do it, my man. All right. Uh, we going, are we going prop style this morning? Is that, is that where, where do you want Where do you want to start at? So I'm going to do a little game breakdown if that's okay with you. Yeah. And I'm going to hit everyone with a ton of props. It's the Super Bowl prop bonanza. Like we were talking about really excited to get it going, but yeah, I'm going to go uh, do a game breakdown and I'll roll into some props after that. Awesome. All right, let's do it. All right, and here we go. As always, like a little uh, backstory of the game because we got the 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The 49ers are a minus two spread uh, for the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. The total in this one is 47 and a half points. And as for the handle, somewhat to be expected, the 49ers are getting 23% of the money currently on DraftKings Sportsbook, and the Kansas City Chiefs are getting 77%. And we have the 14 and 5 San Francisco 49ers facing off against the 14 and 6. Kansas City Chiefs. To get here, the San Francisco 49ers had to take down the Green Bay Packers and sadly, 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 our very own Detroit Lions. Uh, both in come from behind fashion, however. As for the Kansas City Chiefs, they took down the Dolphins, Bills, and Baltimore Ravens. And I will say, uh, yes, they did take down Lamar Jackson and I guess impressive fashion, but it was somewhat of a head scratcher with the game plan against the Kansas City Chiefs as well. One thing I will say about both teams, though, it's not exactly how it was in the past. You know, with the Kansas City Chiefs in particular, they have more so relied on their defense. Both teams have a top three defense in terms of points per game given up. The Kansas City Chiefs second, uh, the San Francisco 49ers coming in third. But this Kansas City Chiefs team has one of the more out passing defenses throughout the entire NFL. They have a top five ranking pass defense. That's actually where the 49ers struggle slightly, ranking 14th. As for the other hand, uh, the rushing defense, San Francisco 49ers rank second throughout the NFL, and the Kansas City Chiefs actually rank 17th in terms of rushing defense. So if there's a place for you to attack the Kansas City Chiefs, it is typically on the ground, which also made last week's game against the Baltimore Ravens that much more confusing. Now, because of that, when I look at this game, my favorite play is actually the total. I like the under 47 and a half. I'm sorry, guys. I know we like high-flying, exciting Super Bowls. And I think this will still be that. I just don't think there will be a ton of points scored here. You look at both of these offenses, and they are both top five slowest offenses throughout the NFL. And that is in terms of time of possession. Both these teams like to grind out the clock. They like to eat the clock use their running back, uh, the Chiefs, Isaiah Pacheco. And then as for the San Francisco 49ers, obviously Christian McCaffrey. But you think of these teams, it's running the football. It's picking up key third downs. The Chiefs in particular, not that many explosive plays anymore. And you got to sit back and think, even last week, how many big plays did you see Patrick Mahomes make on the ground picking up key third downs, again, keeping that clock going? I really do like the look of that under 47 and a half here. And it also makes me like a lot of other unders. And one of those unders is actually Brock Purdy. I like the Brock Purdy under 248 passing yards. And, you know, like I said, this Kansas City Chiefs team has one of the better passing defenses throughout the entire NFL. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs held Tua and Josh Allen both under 200 passing yards in the postseason. They've also allowed um, only three quarterbacks of the last 10 to go over, go over 200 yards. And then also with Brock Purdy, uh, when on the road, he's only going over 250 passing yards three times all season. So I think that's a very good look right there. And because of that, like I said, you know I like those running backs. I really like the look of Christian McCaffrey over 90 and a half rushing yards here. Like I said, the weakness in that Kansas City Chiefs defense is their rushing defense ranking 17th. You need to control the clock, keep Patrick Mahomes off the field. 
really like the look of Christian McCaffrey. And then on the other side, I also like the look of Isaiah Pacheco. We saw that you can rush the football against the San Francisco 49ers. The Detroit Lions did a great job of doing that last week, even though it did slow down in the second half, again, very sadly. But I think this is going to be a game where it is focused on the running back. So I like the look of Isaiah Pacheco, um, over 67 and a half rushing yards here. But one thing I do like with Brock Purdy is what he can do with his legs. Brock Purdy's rushing yards number is 12 and a half here. You even go back and look at his days at Iowa State, and that's where actually stats count against rushing yards. And he was hitting consistently in the 20 and 30 rushing yards per game. And it was generally against bigger competition. So we saw Brock Purdy start using his legs more last week. The number is at 12 and a half here. You look at the Kansas City Chiefs also and their edge rushers. Not the fastest in the world. I think Brock Purdy makes some big plays with his leg. Over 12 and a half rushing yards here. And now, the game pick, okay? This is one I've gone back and forth with all week. You can tell the public is definitely on the Kansas City Chiefs. It's the sexy pick. The people are behind Taylor Swift and all that nonsense. I am going against the Kansas City Chiefs. I like the 49ers minus two. I don't love it. Like I was saying, my favorite pick is the under. And I think a teaser is very much in play here as well. You can get six points to the Kansas City Chiefs, get it to plus eight, get six points to that total, take under 53 and a half, bada bing, bada boom. You got a minus 120 play there. I think this is going to be a game that stays very close throughout and then also stays uh, trends towards the under, like I was saying before. So, again, the game pick there is going to be with the, uh, the 49ers if I had to go anyway. But, Anthony, let's get into – some props. I know the people like the props for the Super Bowl. I have a couple for touchdowns. I have an MVP, um, some specialty bets over on DraftKings Sportsbook. And for the touchdown props, I just did one from each squad. I like Isaiah Pacheco. You know, Pacheco is minus 120 to get in the end zone. Um, he scored in six out of the last seven matchups and has scored in every single game this postseason. I know the 49ers have a solid rushing defense. But I think this is a spot. I mean, he is an absolute bulldozer when you get inside that five-yard line. I think this is a great spot for him to get in. And then the other guy I like, Debo Samuel at plus 135. Debo Samuel, the Swiss Army Knight for the San Francisco 49ers, potentially the best player throughout the NFL in uh, yards after the catch. They also use him in some crazy packages on the goal line where he actually gets goal line carries on top of that. I see good opportunity for Debo Samuel there at plus 135. Another bet I like, this is an interesting one, it's a specialty bet just on drafting sportsbook. What will be higher, the furthest field goal made or the points scored in the game? I like the field goal at plus 130. This is the Kansas City Chiefs team who has someone named uh, Harrison Butker, the kicker. He has five 50-plus yard field goals this season. Jake Moody has two. This is a game that is in Las Vegas. It's going to be prime kicking conditions. Both teams have very good defenses, can stop you on third down. I think this is a very solid bet to get some plus money. So what will be uh, what will be higher, the furthest field goal or the points in the game? Go with field goal at plus 130. And lastly, the Super Bowl MVP. This is actually my favorite bet of the Super Bowl because I think there's a ton of value here. And it is Christian McCaffrey at plus 450. Generally, what you do is go with the quarterback or whatever you team you think is going to win. But I think there is a definitely a path here to see Christian McCaffrey become the MVP. There has not been a running back MVP since Terrell Davis did it against the Green Bay Packers. He had 157 yards and three touchdowns in that outcome. You hear those numbers? Can you not? see Christian McCaffrey doing the exact same thing. This is a guy who has surpassed 150, 170, 200 all-purpose yards numerous times this season. He is a do-it-all player. He was a legitimate candidate for the MVP this season. So why could he not be a legitimate candidate for the Super Bowl MVP on top of that? I think game script comes down to running back. The guy is Christian McCaffrey right here at plus 450. This is actually my favorite bet of the Super Bowl, Anthony. He is Matt Koalas. Find him on Twitter at MoneyLineMatt8. Follow him there. Get his picks. Make a bunch of money. Matt, my friend, as always, partner, appreciate the time today. Hey, appreciate you having me always. Happy Friday, everyone. Best of luck in that Super Bowl. We'll talk soon.